Lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. In today's video, we are doing an Urban Outfitters haul. And when I say haul, I mean, I can't even lift it. Ugh. Haul. One, two, three, let's go. So, let's get started. So I worked this out on my trusty pad of paper and I managed to pay £150.91 for everything that I'm going to show you today. And the value before I got all of this in the sale and the crazy extra 50% off sales and all of that is £545. So I have saved like £395. So much money. Okay, so the first thing that I got was this blouse. So I really like this. It's quite thin material. Uh, it's short sleeved and it's got really nice tortoise shell buttons. So yeah, I think this would look really cute with an undertop underneath. It's quite loose. It's quite breezy. You could have it open or closed. Whatever you want. So this shirt was £11.50, reduced from £29, so it wasn't one of the absolute bargains that I'm going to be showing you today, but I just thought it was worth the price, um, it's a bit of a staple, a white shirt, it can't go wrong. Okay, with us being in lockdown again, all you need during this time is loungewear, and I got this pink furry top. Um, it's not that thick, but the fur is absolutely delightful. It's so soft, and it's just a little crop top, which is really comfy when you've got, like, joggers on, and, you know, when you're just around the house. This top was £4.50, reduced from £29. So I would class this as a bit of a bargain. So the next item is this almost tartan-like dress. It is a maxi dress, so it's nice and long, and it is perfect for if I go on holiday this year. So it is a lovely fit. It was quite tight on the top and then it flared at the bottom. And it's got some beautiful lace detail at the bottom as well. Um, in a sort of greeny brown colour, I would say, is the best way to describe that. <coughs> Let's see if we can get through the sentence without sneezing. So I think this dress was an absolute bargain. I paid £9.50 for it, and before it was in the sale, it cost £59. So I literally saved 50 quid, and I love it. So it's a holiday staple for me in 2021. That is if we can go on holiday, but you know, we can only dream. So the next item is a rose gold crop top, and this is very shiny. I, am, I don't know if I'll be able to pull this one off. Um, I haven't yet tried it on. But I think it'd be quite a nice, like, going out top, you know, this, a pair of jeans or a pair of nice trousers and some heels. Um, you can probably dress it up quite nicely. This was originally £24 and I got it for £2.27. Okay, so this dress here is what I got next. And I really like this because, I mean, China has a special place in my heart and it is a very Chinese design. Um, I went there a few years ago, I learned Chinese, I, I just, I have a special place for China. And Chinese patterns have always been beautiful in my eyes. So I thought I would get myself a little dress with some Chinese patterns on. So this dress was £42 before the sale and I got it for £7.94. I think these might just be my favourite purchase. So these are trousers. This is the pattern and when I first saw these I was a bit unsure. They were a bit granddaddy I might say but on they are beautiful. They're a little bit long in the leg but I can get away with them with some heeled boots. Um, otherwise, I think take them up if you're gonna sort of wear them with trainers or whatever. Or if you have a longer leg, they're a great trouser for that. These weren't an amazing bargain, but I saw these and I did fall in love with them after I was convinced they weren't granddaddy. <laughs> So before the sale, these trousers were £49 and I paid £16.45. I mean, this dress, this just screams going out. It is a ruched um, dress, it's very stretchy, it's green and sparkly and 
yeah, it just screams girls night out. So I can't wait to be able to wear that at some point. It fits beautifully. Um, I think, again, it really accentuates curves and things like that. So it does have a thumbs up. When I ordered this, it was one of those things that you're like, I'll get it and I'll try it and it might go back. But once it was on, I was like, I'm so glad I picked this bargain up. So before the sale, this dress was £39 and I got it for £6.50. Oh, so this one's a bit of a, a big item. I'm just so cosy. As you can see, I got myself a coat. It is a, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, X Froms. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's an Etsy coat and it is so cosy and so warm and do you know what I love about it? It has four pockets, let me show you. So on either side of the coat, it has a button pocket like that and it has a side pocket like that. I mean, what else do you need in a coat? Let's be honest, warmth and pockets. That is everything a girl needs. So this huge coat was a bargain and this was my favourite purchase that I made at Urban Outfitters. This coat before the sale was originally £85 and I paid, drumroll please, £25. I know, you're thinking, Grace, how do you do it? I bought this coat about three times. Every time it got cheaper, I just reordered it, so it's, it's quite... It's quite tragic, but um, I got it for £25 in the end, and that's so exciting. So yeah, 85 down to 25 £60 saving. Okay, so I'm going to just show you a few accessories which I got. So the first thing is this bandana, which I thought was really pretty. The pattern on it is beautiful, and I thought this was really great for when I go on holiday, uh, and just in the summer months to put in my hair. This bandana before the sale was £8, and I managed to snap it up for 75 pence. Okay, so the next thing I got was just some gloves. I thought these were really cute. They're pink with like white specks in them. And these were originally £15 and I managed to get them for £3.50. I'm not very sure about this. Um, I mean, I can't send it back because it is a mask, but I think it'll become like an emergency mask. I thought I could pull off lime green and I probably could like if I was wearing all black or something but the size of this mask it's literally the size of my face so if I put it on it's pretty like gapy did you ever think you'd be watching hauls and seeing people buying masks no only during these strange times. I do think these are nice. Um, I'd recommend more for men. I think it actually was a men's mask. It does have a nose wire in the top, which you don't get in a lot of masks. And uh, yeah, and I really like the fact that it's adjustable straps. There's like a piece of silicone that you can move up and down. So this S France mask was originally £10 and I managed to get it for £1. So I'm not that bothered that I, you know, it doesn't fit me properly but it'd be quite a good one just to have in the car just in case like if I'm at the petrol station or something and I need to run in I can put on this mask okay so the next thing that I got were these butterfly hoops and these um again they were just a bit of a like last minute basket ad um along with the gloves and the mask but I really like these and I think they're really, really sweet and really delicate, which I like. These earrings were originally £8 and I paid £2 for them. So they're not a crazy bargain, but I think that they're really pretty. And the final accessory that I got, which I'm not going to be keeping, unfortunately, is a bag. I mean, I don't need any more bags, but I saw this bag in the most gorgeous black and white zebra print and I was like, that is adorable. So I picked it up, but they sent me it in a brown leopard print. I didn't order this. Like, fair enough, it's a nice enough bag, but I'd just be keeping it for the sake of it. So this bag was originally £29 and I picked it up for £4.50. But it will be going back. 
Okay, so the last bag is full of homeware. So by homeware, I mean three duvet sets. And I bought these duvet sets for the same price each. So I'm just gonna show you all three. So the first set that we got is very plain and simple. It is white with a flower, um, flowers like printed on it. And I think they look really adorable. And this was originally 50 pound and we managed to get it for 20 pound. It is king size, so as you can probably work out, singles and the doubles will have been less money cheaper but uh yes we do have a king size bed so we did need the most expensive one but you can't complain when the most expensive one is 20 quid can you so yeah bargain so all of these duvet covers follow the same thing they were 50 pound and we got them for 20 pound so the next one that we got was sloths doing yoga which i think is just all you need in a bedding really um, I love this. I already have a sloth bedding in pink and um, I mean George knows I love it. I love it. So we needed a second one, really. And sloths doing yoga, what more do you want? And the final £50 down to £20 bedding. This is tiny plants, like cartoon plants on the bedding. And I just think that is great fun. <laughs> Okay, so that is everything that I bought. Just to sum it up for you, I got £545 worth of stuff and we paid £150.91. <laughs> Saving of £395, what more do you want with an Urban Outfitters purchase? So make sure you go over and check out the rest of their sale and what they have available. Comment down below what your favourite thing was and remember to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week for another video. Please remember to stay safe and look after each other and I'll see you later lovelies. Bye!